In this edition of Digital Futures, we're really revved up about the smart home of the future. Now, this isn't some minority report style novelty, rather it's already a reality. And we can soon expect to see between 15 and 30 intelligent connected devices and sensors in an ordinary household. And most of these services and devices will be connected over mobile networks. And there's business value as well. It's a market set to be worth over $44 billion by 2016. And then there are the clever devices. Take the smart meter, for instance, which gives us the power to track and hence control the daily energy usage in our homes. It also helps us make informed decisions about which suppliers to use, which in turn makes the market more competitive. Two more examples. Home automation allows you to control features from your connected home using your smartphone and mobile health services that allow doctors to remotely monitor their chronic disease patients. And what's really fascinating here is that in the near future, we can expect to see a truly integrated smart home with connectivity across devices. We've lined up three industry experts who are passionate about the subject to paint this picture for us. Over to them. The sort of technologies that we might see in homes, I, I think are already existing. I think they're already there and it's all about the connected home. But actually I think it's about the services that people are going to receive at the homes that are really interesting. So one of the key drivers is with technology coming in, with smartphones coming in, and also the fact that the price of energy is going up and will almost double in the next 10 to 15 years. There's a real business case to have smart homes. The smart meters are going to be a crucial element of the smart home because they are going to create the government mandated link to every home, for example, in the UK and to majority homes in Europe. So I think smart meters are really important because actually they're becoming a product and service of scale. And so when they were a concept or when only a few people had them, they were much harder for everyone else to relate to. But when the home next door has one or when whole streets are receiving smart meters. You can then begin, you can almost imagine the discussions that are taking place, which is, oh crikey, I didn't realize so I put the tumble dryer on and actually I can see that the, the energy use went you know, massively spiked. Businesses view the uh, connected life and the connected home as a huge new opportunity. And uh, we're looking at about uh, 12 billion devices connected via mobile by 2020. The major challenge uh, that we see in the mass rollout is actually standardization of uh, specifications. You know, today in our homes we have different utilities providing us different services. We buy appliances from a number of organizations and what we don't have is an open platform to be able to source information from these different services and from different appliances into one smart black box. I think to derive the most value from the smart home, the devices absolutely must connect and share data with each other. We believe the telecom operators have the best advantage to provide these services and the main reason for that is because they have the capability to manage 600 to a billion customers. There will be some people that are just excited about connecting everything, the television, the fridge, you know, whatever it might be and being able to control services from their smartphone wherever they are. For some people the really fast adopters that will be very powerful and very exciting. I suspect that the far greater market opportunity and the thing that will really become prevalent in all of our homes is the really, in some ways, quite mundane stuff. You know, things like smart meters, things like managing our energy bills, which are rising in a way that saves everybody money, but actually they do so in a way that they, they also take control of the service from the provider. We've heard from Scott, Svetlana and Sarvant on what it's going to take to see mass adoption of smart home technologies. This space is only going to get more exciting. Thanks for watching.